do you know you can definitely bake fish and you still have it juicy and tasty just the way you want it keep watching hello everyone how's it going it's your girl claudia and welcome back to my channel on today's episode i'll be showing you how to bake this whole fish the fish here i'm using white sea bass you can use this same recipe for any other fish of your choice but today i'll be showing you a particular way or a very very nice and juicy way to make oven baked whole fish and how to make your veggies not too over baked or not too overcooked because overcooked veggies don't really really taste that good so keep watching to the end of the video and i tr and trust me you're gonna enjoy it but before we pop into the ingredients and the process please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't miss out when i post any of my recent videos the ingredients here in this bowl i have some paprika black pepper seasoned salt oregano and no seasoning for the no seasoning if you don't have it you can use maggi cube Check the description box as usual it has a detailed measurement i have one large white sea bass it has been gutted and scaled perfectly washed and clean for the oil olive oil here i love mixing olive oil and sesame oil during grilling or i use sesame oil only you should definitely try sesame oil when grilling or baking this bowl i have my veggies here garlic onion bell pepper parsley thyme tomatoes and lemon check the description box like i said it has the detailed measurement of all the ingredients i have on here start by taking out the fins of the fish then make slits on both sides of the fish So now I'm going to be prepping the other ingredients, that's the parsley and the veggies. In the bowl, mix the powder ingredients with the oil, that's a mixture of the olive oil and the sesame oil. Then add the minced garlic and diced or sliced parsley. For the oil, you definitely have to save some because you're going to be using the oil throughout the
apply the marinade on the fish making sure it gets deep inside the slits also save some of this marinade because you're going to be using it throughout baking Put the lemon and the thyme in the belly of the fish. Grease the baking pan lined with aluminum foil with the oil mixture. Then line up some lemon slices and put the fish on top. Let the fish marinate in the refrigerator for at least one hour. In a separate bowl, put the tomatoes and the rest of the veggies with a pinch of salt, black pepper, and some of the oil. That's why I said from the beginning, you are definitely going to be using that oil throughout baking. After one hour, you can bake the fish. At this point, a very, very important fact is, now for the first baking, do not put the veggies on it. You are going to be putting the veggies when you flip the sides. This is because you don't want the veggies overcooked. So save the veggies when you flip the sides. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes each side. Look at that juice from the fish, guys. In fact, this recipe. So now you can now flip the sides. When you flip the sides, you can now put the veggies and ready to bake the second time. all right guys our recipe for today it looks good look at the veggies like i told you before they are not going to be overcooked the juice from it and the juice from the fish the juice from the lemon everything infused together you should definitely try out this recipe guys if you have white rice or whatever rice if you have maybe french fries or sweet potatoes or in fact whatever is gonna go with this juicy 
oven baked fish and the veggies the veggies really taste good the black pepper the salt in it guys you should definitely try out this recipe surprise family and friends with this recipe i have another recipe i made before that's a red snapper recipe Thank you everyone for watching to this point. I hope you liked this recipe. If you get to like it, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it to help a friend out. Bye-bye and trust my recipes.